I want to share with you that this show is about veterans. So if you belong to a veterans organization and your and your post uh, has some event, please uh, email me or call me and let me know and I'll put it in my show and I'll let people know and I'll also email it to my contact. So um, just send it to my email address and uh, I'll disseminate it as best I can. Um, also coming up, we have the Memorial Day clip and the trailer for Respect the Movie, and also a wonderful, wonderful interview with Mr. Robert Avila from the Imperial County Veterans Office. Maybe you know a veteran who needs services. Well, I'm gonna, we're going to share that information with you in a moment. So now let's go back to Mr. Frank Novak. This is a few of the uh, weapons I have part of my display, military display. Uh, starting off at the bottom, we have an M1903 Springfield, it's an 03A3. This uh, rifle was designed after a German Mauser, 8mm Mauser, during the Spanish-American War. This one was made during World War II, and uh, there were little differences between the original and this one. This is uh, the last version of the 1903, it's a last bolt-action rifle in common military service for the United States. Uh, during World War II, we switched from this rifle onto the M1 Garand. Now, Frank, uh, we're about the end of this segment. Is there something that you want to share with us to close this, some sort of uh, concluding uh, uh, words from your part? Uh, safety, firearm safety, always. Um, people do silly things, especially around guns, and um, just to avoid accidents and keep it safe. We don't need anybody getting hurt because guns are guns are mostly fun. Mm -hmm. They have a, a it's it's a tool that could be used for good and bad, but uh, I don't know, just to be as safe as possible. So safety, safety. safety, safety. Now um, I know that a lot of people may be wondering, and um, and I don't know if it's a touchy subject with you, but I think that we should just a little bit on it. What is your take on more gun regulation or more gun responsibility, gun ownership responsibility? Well, I think since it's a constitutional right that anything that infringes on it, I, I'm kind of against. Um, I have a law enforcement background for the last 22 years, mm -hmm. and I don't see that firearms are really the threat because putting more laws on the books are only going to affect the people who obey the law. It won't affect uh, criminals at all mm. because they don't buy their guns legally they, they don't go through the legal processes to, to own a firearm and if somebody told them no would they really say no and give it up no they mm. just get, find some other way to get what they want mm -hmm. so gun laws pretty much hurt the people who obey laws I see well that's a really good point of view and a really good opinion well we've been talking to Frank Novak a veteran and he's been sharing with us his awesome collection of weapons and uh, stay tuned. We'll be talking to another veteran in a moment. Thank you. Memorial Day weekend is a time to honor and remember our heroes. Millions of men and women have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend the freedom that we enjoy on a daily basis. Some of those heroes rest in a little cemetery known as Memory Garden Cemetery, located along Highway 86 between El Centro and Brawley, California. Retired veterans like Rick Rain, Eric Perez, and Agustin Saldana honor these fallen heroes by cleaning up the area and providing flags on Memorial Day. Brothers and sisters, these men remember, these men give respect and honor.